Hello everyone. Welcome to this exciting video of dark or deep web. Before we begin, I would like to warn viewers that don't mess with the dark web unless you are an expert or under guidance as it may lead you to some kind of offense without even knowing. To begin with, a simple definition of dark web. I present this image of an iceberg which is commonly used everywhere. The top or tip of the iceberg is the regular web or the internet a normal user like us sees. We call this as surface web or surface browsing. That means we are browsing on the surface. On the surface web, you have sites indexed with search engines like Google. But there is a bigger iceberg or a bigger web world beneath and that is the dark web. Actually deep and dark web also have different definitions. But dark web is part of the deep web. It's like the deeper you go, the darker it gets. So this is the surface web, which is actually 3 to 4%. And that means you are working with just 3 to 4% of which are listed or indexed on regular search engines. To understand the concept in detail, let's first of all discuss what happens in a day-to-day -day life when you browse. For example, you want to plan your vacation and you search for a good hotel. From the day you search, the entire world starts showing you advertisements of good hotels, cheaper flights, good food and whatnot. The bigger question here is, how come they all know your activity? How do they know that you are planning a vacation? How do they start showing you ads of the exact thing which you are thinking? It's because there are tons of algorithms running, lot of cookies and data stored on your computer and the web is keeping an eye on you. Because you are on the surface web, your IP, your identity is disclosed. Now if you do not like being watched, if you want to do hidden browsing or anonymous browsing, then you are talking of the dark web. This is not your incognito or a private mode of browser. You need separate browser to do anonymous browsing. In incognito or private mode, your IP is still traceable. But when you use special browser, it hides you from the world. Browsers like Tor, Tails, I2P and many more which can be used for anonymous browsing. Tor is one of the most known browser tarproject.org is the official site. Once you download this browser, it looks somewhat like this. It appears as a normal browser. But if I try to open a normal .com site, then it's going to take more time than your normal browser. Like right now, I have typed google.com and as you can see, it is taking a lot of time. The main reason behind that is, it is actually running onion routing that means it tries to mislead it tries to generate a lot of ips and it also tries to use multiple vpns before the request reaches to the web now one thing is for sure you don't serve the dot com sites on such browsers the dark web has the extension of dot onion what i mean to say is that the domain name will be having an extension of dot onion you can install a server and configure a site on your PC and that PC can work as a server for .onion site and that is the reason why because these servers are private computers they are not traceable easily. Your normal PC becomes a server for the .onion site. Tor helps you to generate free domain names which will have .onion extension and using that extension if my PC is on then you can directly access the computer with that domain. So now a million dollar question is who uses dark web? Mostly all the criminal activities happening under the dark web. Money laundering, cryptocurrency laundering, drugs, weapons and whatnot. So you should stay away from dark web 